Airport employees gathered in the departure hall to bid farewell to their colleagues and friends. Quietly, they mourned, both together as a group and as individuals. My colleagues were killed in the attack. We are sad, so sad. And his Inan is also grieving. When the terrorist attacked the airport, he was at home. But just a few hours later, Anis, an Austrian of Turkish descent, was back in his duty-free shop to show support for his colleagues like Umut Zakarol. He was working downstairs that day. He was one of the heroes who pulled out his firearm and shot one of the attackers. That's why he blew himself up earlier than he'd planned. That's what people say. And his Inan says the threat of terrorism seems to have become part of everyday life here in Turkey. But the worst feeling of all is to experience an attack right where he works. In the last 10 months there have been 10 or so attacks. Three in the capital, four in Istanbul, one in Diyarbakir and one in Gaziantep. You get used to it. Only this time we are the victims. Our homes are here. We live here. And for the first time this terror has come to us. It's really hard. Cleaning crews have started to restore the airport to how it looked before the attack. Most of the damage has been repaired. It's as if they are trying to remove all traces of the tragedy that happened just a few days ago. This is where one of the attackers blew himself up while the others detonated their explosive inside of the terminal. Now the airport is working again and officials here are trying to return to normal as soon as possible. But a suicide attack has left deep scars and created a deep shock in the whole country. Some of the passengers arriving on flights here are nervous. Of course we're scared that it will happen again, but they have stepped up security. It smells terrible in the terminal. They're still repairing the damage over there. But I didn't really want to go over and look. Look, I've still got goosebumps. Everywhere you look, there are security forces. But does it really mean the airport is safer? No one has expressed these doubts out loud, but many passengers seemed tense and unsure. Next to the terminal building, taxi drivers mourned to colleagues who were killed in the attacks. Errol was a good friend. He was from the same village as me and just came here to earn money. Now he's been killed by these terrorists. It's not only the taxi drivers who are nervous about the future and what will happen if tourists and business people start avoiding Turkey. What will it mean for the country? Fuat Yildirim has been driving a taxi in Istanbul for 35 years. He tries to reassure himself, saying that Turkish people will make it through this tragedy and stand strong in the face of terror. <laughs>